Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to RRHQ where finally I got all the mess cleaned up from our insulation debacle. And if you didn't see that video, eh, maybe you'll get enjoyment out of it, especially if you have ill feelings towards me. But anyway, uh, we are now gonna start working on this area back here, which is where the mechanical room, the bathroom, and my staircase is gonna be up to the upstairs storage room or whatever it ends up being, man cave, I don't know. And so what we have to do, you'll see that we've got this board here. Greg and I were just kind of messing around after work one day and we kind of tried to figure out where the stairs are gonna go because all that piping is for my, uh, it's gonna go to manifolds for my boiler for the radiant heat. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough room, but I also wanted to make sure that the placement of the stairs made sense. And I think we've got to figure it out. So we're gonna go ahead and let's get this stuff built. So what we are going to do is right here, I'm gonna have a landing upstairs with a closet. So we're gonna to have to frame off this opening here. And then back here where this comes up, this is where my staircase is gonna end. We're gonna have a wall that is going to basically separate my mechanical room, boom, that's here, and my bathroom, okay? So we've got to build a bathroom wall set. We've got a mechanical wall set. And then I'm going to actually try to build, I might build my stairs or I might just set the stringers in the opening so that when we go and do all of our mechanicals, I know exactly where my stair is and I don't build into that space, but I don't want to have to be under here working and having a staircase over my head and it be dark and hitting my head and all that good stuff. So we're not going to build the staircase until the actual mechanicals are done for the most part. So with that being said, I think our first step is we're going to get this headers are all located, built, and then we'll come down here and build the walls underneath of it. I find that easier than standing walls and then setting stuff on top of it because when things aren't perfect down here, that means they're not going to be perfect up there. I mean, you're splitting pencil. Well, pencils, that matters, man. Yeah, I'd say I'm five and a half. Yeah. That's good. I think it's perfect. Okay. So this this board right here, we put on with a laser and this is the top of the board, is the bottom of our floor system. So we got a column right here and we're gonna have an LVL sitting directly here and it's gonna come over. And at the end of the day, we're gonna be building a two by six wall right underneath of it. So we don't even have to work. Actually, we're not doing an LVL here. This is just gonna be a rim joist. Yeah. Rim board? It's a rimmer, dude. Hey, the rim hey out, right? while I have this here, mm -hmm. I should probably mark where the top plate of this bathroom wall is going to be. Good idea. What do you think about that? I like it. Thinking ahead? Ahead we think. Okay. 56, 7, 8. 56, 7, 8. 56, Plugged up completely, brother. That mother trucker is plugged oh, up. Shoot. Yeah, that's plugged up. I need something long and skinny. Here, watch out. Watch out. Here, move that. That's got it. Now go the other way. Put this over there. There you go. Aha, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that sounds a lot better a jack stud okay i'm just trying to figure out what my uh the minimum amount of room i need here to put a doorway into the bathroom because i'm gonna have a door into the mechanical room right here underneath the stairs and i thought might as well put the door here into the bathroom as well instead of having it around the corner and then i waste all this space but i don't want to go because i don't need a big bathroom uh it's not, i'm not going to be having parties in there um, and I think this is the best thing, but I still want a 36 inch door. So I'm just trying to make sure I've got enough room here, but not too much. So we're going to go 38 and a half and then we're going to go, let's see, three and a half, five, let's go seven and, oh, see, cause I got to think about this is the door. Let's call this the the jack stud, the king stud. And then I kind of want one more or something into the corner. 
so I have a little bit more room around the inside so the door opens, you know? Mm -hmm. And then my corner. So I think I think that'll be right there. So that's that's what we want. <clears throat> so this is the corner. So now I'm gonna move this here, Greg, so we can get our top to make sure exactly what that measurement is. Because that's where Oh, that's perfect, dog. Is it? Yeah. What makes it perfect? Well, perfect for your ceiling blocking. Yeah. Hey, look at that. That is kind of nice. Kind of, because... You to add blocking in there for your wall, but... Do I? Mm-hmm. Why? Wait, oh, this wall. Yeah, that wall that goes On back. the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, I almost wish it was like another... Should I just make it a little bit bigger just to get onto that a little bit more? Or just so you guys know what the heck we're doing here. So this is my corner of my shop, okay? This is where we're looking. This is all the radiant tubes here. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a, I've got a toilet here and I got a sink bowl here, right? I'm building a wall like so. And I'm also building this wall so that I can have my staircase to go up. This underneath is going to have a door and I'll probably, I'm assuming it will probably swing this way out because it's, I'm hardly ever going to go in there. And then I'm going to have another door into the bathroom right here. So I'm just trying to figure out all these dimensions, make sure it works. And once I get this all done, I'm going to be mounting my electrical panel here on this wall in this two by six wall. And then I can start running all my wiring and whatever. And then over here is where I'll have my boiler, probably a water softener. My manifolds are all sitting underneath the stairs here. And this is strictly just mechanicals. I might need a water pressure tank. It depends. My plumber doesn't know if I need it because I am running off an existing well. But if we don't get the pressure due to some distances, we might have to bring uh, and do some things here to get a little bit of water service uh, pressure a little bit better. So. That's what we're doing. Pretty simple. I just want to make sure I think through it all because a lot of times someone's telling me what they want and I just do it with little suggestions. But this is obviously all on me to decide what I want and how I'm going to use it in the future. And I don't really know exactly. So I'm kind of just trying to think through all the things. So I think we've got our layout. We're going to go ahead and start building some stuff, getting some wood cut. And uh, yeah, now you can kind of see where the landing is going to be up there. I think it's all good. So, all right, let's get some measurements and let's start cutting some wood. Let's go 105 and 3 eighths for the top plate. If you guys have followed the channel, you would know that we like to put our top plate and our bottom plate in and then set all the studs in. Is it more work? Yes, but especially a two by six wall, when you're trying to turn that, you can either cut everything short and then you know get it into the space or you have to cut it and you beat it in with a hammer because it's too tight to make the turn into the space or if you're building on concrete and there's any sorts of ups and downs it makes it even harder so we find it easier and i might find that when i do my top bottom and i go measure all these studs they're all the exact same size but that's that's just the way it is we'll do top bottom and then fill in the space i i think it's real easy i like doing it and I feel like it's the best way to get 105 and 3 8. 105 and 3 8. Get, get the best end result. Well, down here we're 104 and 3 quarters. What? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, well, maybe this has a little. No, that's pretty solid. There's a post right there. There's a post right there. My guess is what it is is this 20 some foot wall has a little bit of an Audi to it. In the middle? Yeah. I mean, we could try to, like I said, maybe we could throw just a ratchet strap or something on it and just kind of maybe uh, put it. It's a freaking 26 foot or 24 foot wall. Yeah, with no bracing backs in the center. Yeah, I think we can move it probably easy. I think so. A half inch? That's nothing, dude. So. That's, that's nothing. That's nothing. Chump change. Mm -hmm. We build like cardboard houses. Yeah. They're, they're, that's why they blow over in the first windstorm, yeah. you know? Yeah. I don't think we need to ratchet strap it. I think we could probably just get a screw. Just on, angle it? No, no, no. Like, get a screw on the girt up top. Like, that next girt up, put a screw a board in, and then come back and literally pull it 
and put an angled screw into the subfloor. Do you see what I'm saying? I hope we can get some of it. All right, so this is where we're starting. And we want to get roughly, if we can, five eighths of an inch. Five eighths of an inch. Okay, now pull that board out. So that did move some of it. I'm going to get a screw going on an angle. So we got a uh, half of it at least. I mean, half is better than none. Yeah, I mean, if we're off a eighth of an inch there, it doesn't even look like it. Man, eh, maybe three sixteenths at the most. Um, I'm okay with that. Do you want to try one more time or no? You tell me when you're ready. All right. Re Let me see. I can't get that one. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go! No, that did worse. I didn't grab good. In fact, I sucked at that one. One, two, three. Ooh. Bro, that's, I'm, I'm totally good with that. We went over half. Okay. All right, that's All right. good for me. Yep. Well, that definitely didn't get too, uh, too tight, did it? Do I have a mark on this, Greg? I can't see my mark. Yeah, marks. you did. Well, yeah, there's a mark there then. We covered our screw up there, so it's going to be hard to put a screw in there. 52 inches mm -hmm. is my wall. Mark inch and a half, and then another inch and a half. This Into this? Or no, like uh, mark a jack stud. Or, wait, wait, are, right. you, are you on seven? 20, yeah, are you on seven? I'm on seven, yeah. Yep, so mark five and a half and four. Okay, my guess is that's gonna be okay. We're 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 out of that corner, so that's fine. Also, we're using LSL only because, well, it is awesome. I love it, but uh, because I had enough left over to kind of piecemeal this sections through, getting rid of some inventory, trying to clean up, and it is pretty awesome stuff. Uh, super straight, so that is kind of nice. But there's really no reason to use LSL for this unless you're gonna get into doing some uh, tall walls or kitchen walls or bathroom walls where you want really flat studs. Uh, if you're gonna be doing some like level five drywall work and stuff, which we are not, but just using it up, what the heck. Okay, so bottom, mark this. So we know where we're at. Only thing with LSLs, man, they are hard. They're dense as crap, and nails do not like to go in them. This is exciting, man. I'm excited to finally... Shape things up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has been... I've been just staring at it, and that insulation debacle really threw me... Okay, that's bottom. Threw me for a loop for a while, you know? Here, we got to mark some top studs, Greg. I totally forgot. That's what... I don't know. So, let's take this up get this installed we'll get the bottom installed and then i'll put this board on the wall that'll get that perfect greg mm -hmm. then that'll tie everything together mm -hmm. and then we can work our way through this let, let go let go okay don't you know what what, what the frick okay Come on, buddy. You know, good old LSL. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Nice. All right, cool. Now let's just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and throw into here. So let's get this guy. You got your hammer. You want to go a little higher?
right, dude. Let's uh, try and get this over all them things, eh? Hope it's hope it'll work. It'll be easy peasy. All right. That yeah, should, that's right. That should be the right way. Yeah, because it's only yeah. Because you gotta you gotta go round. Mm -hmm. no. Come on, buddy. Nice, nice. I feel we're doing this right. This is this. this. <laughs> I don't know. It I, sounds I feel, like we're doing the right thing. <laughs> I feel like are we making. We the, get to the end <laughs> and it's wrong. I'll be so upset, but not really. Well, I feel like we still actually have to. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, now now. now we need to get both of them in there. I don't know why we didn't just run it out, but whatever. That was actually pretty easy. Oh, dude. Light work. Look at that. that nice is, work, dude. That is perfect. Ooh. Nice. Free Third. Friendship Friday. Let's go. This is working out good in my favor. 9 foot 11, 9 sixteenths. 9 11 and 9 sixteenths. 9 11 and 9 sixteenths? That means this is taller than 10 foot, dude. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just use my LDM. This is like the easiest way, see? It's, you can pull a tape measure, but that's a pain in the butt. This is gonna be guaranteed accuracy. And I just line my laser right up with my uh, stud. Five eight. Let's go down the way. Nine sixteenths. Oh man, it's trash. Okay, I'm actually kind of impressed right now, I'm not gonna lie, you know? Let's get these cut, we'll get them stood in. I don't have any tap cons on me, so I'm not gonna be able to put them, you know, tight into the ground, but I will be building this wall and then this wall, so everything's gonna get locked in anyway for now, and then I'll come back and we'll do it. We'll do it later. So you want to start cutting these, I'll start installing them. And nice thing is with the LSLs, we don't have to crown anything. I literally just put them in and look at that, LDM, perfect. It's just, it's too nice. And I don't have to even worry about hitting my straight line because they are already like perfectly straight. So definitely if you're doing tall walls or if you're doing something that you want straight walls for, LSLs are the, the best. And you guys should all hit up LP and say, we want LP LSLs back. They took the business out, they sold it off because they wanted to focus on their smart side, which I can't blame them. They couldn't produce enough smart side and maybe stick with what you're really good at. But I really miss, these are LP LSLs. I miss them. They were the best. Wait, I'm on the right side of these lines, Kyle. You know what's also nice, Greg? What's that? You don't ever have like difference of dimensions. So when you're lining up like tops and bottom plates to your studs, everything is just, there is no imperfection. Well, the only imperfection there is is like in thickness. Yeah, you're right. Width is width can get width varied at the thing. ends. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it set it pretty good. Yeah, I think it's good going in that direction. It's uh, going in like going side. this way. Yeah, it's where. It yeah. It doesn't matter what gun you use. We've. It's just hard as crap, man. All right, so now that we have this wall here, the top plate, this is what we needed in order to do these 
eye joists. So now Greg can cut me these eye joists. We'll get these installed. Now listen, I know somebody might come at me in the comments and say, you didn't, you didn't put a stud underneath every joist like... You know, I don't have a stud under every joist. I don't actually worry too much about that because this rim joist is on top of the entire plate of LSL and it's a landing for a staircase. So I was more concerned about the layout for my electrical panel box, the wall locations, the do all that good stuff. You know, don't, don't come at me in the comments. Typically you would want a floor system to rest over top of your, you know, studs or you're gonna need to make sure you have a double top plate. But anyway. Back to what I was doing. 7 4, 13 16. Feel free to take uh, hair off. Kind of an eye joist waste here to put that there doesn't really need this because i have some header underneath but i had it so i'm going to use it it's at least the same exact dimension That is great. Good cuts, Greg. You really know how to work that saw. Oh boy. If that's not like a glove, I don't know what is, man. do like one there we go wow. I'll go grab the vacuum well wait 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 I'll uh, I'll help you I'll go grab the vacuum I'll help you dude you don't need I don't need your help okay there's that Good job, man. Here it goes. <gasps> or could we do um ter 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 terrazzo? Terrazzo? Ter Wait, is that that stuff that you can like drive over? Well, yeah, it, and it looks like marble and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like you put it down and then you, you it's like a thin layer and then they grind it down and then put a, a sealant over. I don't know. I always thought that was cool stuff. You changed the nails, right? Okay. Good Just call. Checking. That's a long time ago, Gray. Okay. Got it? Oh yeah, buddy. Legacy, premium subfloor. Build your legacy on ours. <laughs> Grill glue. Uh, are we gonna have to slide it back and slide it in? Hopefully not. Because you got that girt there. Um, maybe a little. Okay, slide it back a little if you can. There you go. <clears throat> okay, this is where it's really careful. 
I think that was pretty good, dude. Is this one foot? Are you kidding me? Dang, dude. Yeah? Life is good, yeah. This is your next one. This is your next one. So this is gonna have, I'm gonna have like an open rail here. Oh, maybe a half wall. I think a half wall. Yeah. And then right over here, the next thing we've gotta do when we get this uh, framing of the walls done, I'm gonna put a closet right here. That way it kinda, it's like a wasted space. I got a 10 foot ceiling. I don't need all that space under my staircase. So two things, closet, extra storage, but also remember these guys that go all the way through to the other side where we can run uh, wiring inside of my air control air. I do need to cover these because those were our original ones, but that's also inside this closet space so I can get into this wall and get wiring. I might have to cut these back, but yeah, it's cool, man. 211 and a half, 211 and a half, 211 and a half, buddy. How many scraps you got over there? Uh, that will work. Those three? three? Yeah. That's okay. That'll work. I would like to put some uh, here, but we're just gonna, we're gonna go the easy way here. 85 and 916. Yeah, feel free to go half and go about like every foot. Yeah, I just alternated. No more, more, more. More? Yeah. I'm scared. More. Right there. There you go. Okay. Why are you going there? Uh, because I don't really, I don't want to go on the outside. Mm. Cause they, you can do it, but they will split up sometimes. Oh, I see. oh that, that worked out good. Okay, so you got this sucker going like you this. Spin around. Nice cut, dude. I think you're just hitting the screws. All right, we got our first kind of general task done, which is to frame up the bathroom and get this landing all done. So that's, honestly, that was kind of, not even the hard part, but just the part that I, I knew was gonna take my thinking to just lay it all out. Now, we've got a wall to frame in with a, a door for the mechanical room. And I do have a little bit of a weird condition here, and I haven't figured out exactly. You can see I've got this LVL located where I think I want my landing to be up here, or not landing, but just the floor space for a closet. But it's like, I really wanna walk down the stairs before I do that. So I might, I might just leave, I'm thinking I might just leave that out entirely until my staircase is built. You can see how we got our plywood or our, our subfloor kind of overhangs right now. We're gonna define where this wall's gonna go. We're gonna get this eye joist up. We're just gonna let it hang there because eventually, Next, we're gonna build our wall underneath of it. I could build my wall and stand it up, guys, but I promise you, 14 inch eye joist, if there's any up and down in this concrete floor, I will fight trying to get it to go where I want it. So it's easier to put the eye joist in, make sure it's where I want it, and then I'll build my wall underneath. And what I've decided out here is right about, let's see, right about here, this will be standing on the ground. So my first step is somewhere like right here. When I come down these stairs and I step on the ground, I'm actually gonna put a door here and I want this door here because I want 
my shop space closed off from upstairs. Upstairs can be conditioned. It could be a cool little space that I want to keep clean. I might have computer stuff up there. My wife would love for me to get my gaming set up out of the house and get it out here. Not her decision. I'm the man of the house, so we'll keep it where I want it. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I want to have this closed off. So I want a doorway and I don't want to come down the stairs and have a door right here. Unfortunately, that was my original goal was with this wall, uh, but the beam, I was going to have it just come straight down and be a door, but it's not going to work. So we're going to kind of bring it out, put a little alcove here that we will then open the door once you're down on solid ground. And then up here, Greg said I can put like a, like a trophy or maybe like a statue of him up here on a little like, you know, a little mezzanine or something. So it's a good idea, you know. Maybe we could get like a big 3D printed version of you. All right, so Greg, 15, four, seven eighths. 15, four, seven. Yep, so that is the dimension of your eye joist. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get our, I'm gonna try to get this figured out. I think I'm gonna come out, did I say 222? Yeah, yeah, 224. That'll be nice and even, 16 inch on center. All right. Eh, not quite three foot, but. 32 inch or so little platform up there. I think that'll be good, Greg. I think I'll store things up there that I don't want you to get, like my best tools. The things that you try to take to the job site, I'll put them up there. Because I know you're short, you can't get up there. Okay, that'll be LSL, so that'll be nice and straight. We're gonna go ahead and use some chunk cutoffs to add to our eye joist. And the reason is our laser line is gonna be indicating our inside of our wall, but uh, this eye joist is not gonna be there. It's actually gonna be back the thickness of this rim board. So we're just gonna use a couple pieces. And the reason we're not installing the rim board yet is because I don't know exactly where my closet landing is gonna be at up there. So I wanna play it safe. So this, this, uh, this chunk of rim board will go right to the line. Take a lift up as close as you can. Let me go up. Yeah, you go up. Yeah, that a boy. All right, so now you can see, I'm sure you already understood what we were gonna do, but got ourselves a little spacer block. So I'm just making sure my laser, kissing it. And we're just gonna hang this from our subfloor for now. And then we will build our wall underneath of it and that'll be its final support. So, you like it, Greg? Uh, wait, wait, the laser disappeared. What the heck? Oh wait, there it is again. Mm hmm Cool. Okay, then... Uh, Same thing down there. Yeah, well, so we probably, Greg, I think what we should do is just to be safe, like hit a scrap board between like maybe these three with the face on to make sure if the bottom needs to be moved before we build our wall and attach it to it because then we won't have that option. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, putting the, I'm just putting this little rim block to space it off the eye joist so that my wall is, is flush. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's how much it's going to overhang, man. That's my... Uh, that's not bad, is it? There. I'm just gonna put a dot every so often, and that will tell me where to put this when I get some, you know, tap cons. And I'll do it right next to the door so that the door is a nice straight line, and then that should be fine over there. Okay. Then you have one at 5 8 Yeah, one at 5 8 and one at 3 8 Okay. Uh, 
is actually pretty good. That's nice, just gotta nice. That's your five eighths here. Where? Where you threw up. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's why it's tight. How did I know? Read. Now I'm using like all this inferior wood. Feels like everything's imperfect. Nothing's all straight. It's gonna be all jagged. All right, Greg, I need two at, let's see, 35 and a half. I think I'm gonna need one more regular stud, Greg, at the 916 for on the other side of this corner right here. Hey, good thing these LSLs are so dense. All right, guys, that is it. That is what we wanted to do today. It kind of is nice to be back here in the headquarters where I haven't been able to put a ton of work in because we've been busy building buildings. Well, really just one building, like a huge building. But we got our bathroom walls. We got our staircase walls. Everything is framed in. Now I can kind of feel what it's going to be like to go step into my little bit of a landing and then my stairs start right here. So what's cool is I'm hoping my buddy Eric from Mechanical Hub, which if you guys do not follow Eric, maybe you're not a big plumber guy, but Eric's a good dude, so that's why I follow him. He's a friend of mine. He does plumbing and heating and cooling, does boiler work, a lot, a lot of boiler work. He's gonna come down and help me get my radiant boiler hooked up, so that was a big reason to get this done, so I can get my electrical, so I can get my water line, so I can get my boilers. So Eric's gonna come down, we're gonna shoot some content together. Uh, go check him out so you can get a good feel for who he's all about and what he does before he comes down. I'm sure we'll do some videos together here on the channel. So if that interests you, if you wanna see this radiant heated system get put together, maybe you're gonna do it in a future job and you want some more background info, even if you're not gonna do it yourself, Definitely hit that subscribe button so you can, uh, maybe even the bell so you get notified when we drop a new video. But we still got a lot to do here at RRHQ. We'll get the staircase built after we get all these manifolds down here hooked up and that'll be in a future video. So definitely, uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up. It's not crazy content, but it's cool to get it built. So we'll catch you guys on the next video.